Caroline Hazlitt was born in Sussex in 1895. During the First World War, she joined the Cochrane Boiler Company, where she completed basic engineering training, which was unusual at the time. From that point on, she became a pioneer for women in the electrical and professional world. In 1919, she became the first secretary of the Women's Engineering Society, eventually becoming president in 1941. In 1924, she became the first director of the Electrical Association for Women, of which she was a joint founder. She became chairman of the Council of Scientific Management in the home and presented papers on home management in various countries. From 1946 to 1954, Dame Caroline was the only female member of the Council of British Institute of Management. In 1953, she became the chairman of the British Electrical Development Association, the first time a woman had been appointed to that office. She was also the only women member of the British Electrical Authority from 1947 until 1956, and was a popular appointment in view of the growing importance of domestic electrical development. Dame Caroline's activities aroused great interest among several women's organisations, town planning authorities and other bodies, and she was active in many such organisations. In recognition of her services, she was made a commander of the Order of the British Empire in 1931, and in 1947 she was promoted to Dame Commander. She travelled widely in connection with her offices, to Europe, the Middle East, Canada and the US. During the Second World War, she undertook several missions at the request of the British and United States governments and was appointed chairman of the Hosiery Working Party and honorary advisor to women's training to the Ministry of Labour. She retired to live at the home of her sister and biographer Rosalind Messenger in Suffolk, where she died on the 4th of January 1957. Her extraordinary legacy continues to this day. Her chief interest was enhancing the benefits of electrical power to emancipate women from household chores so that they could pursue their own ambitions outside the home. <laughs>